<laughs> All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to read you an article. I've been trying to rescue military dogs for years, and they would never let me because they wouldn't let anyone. Well, now the military has finally decided to stop youth, euthanizing our soldiers, and they are going to release them. This is a very rigorous process because they're not just normal dogs. They're working dogs. Most of them, or a lot of them, at least, will have PTSD. We don't put down our own soldiers. We shouldn't put down our dog soldiers either. So let me read you this. Sometimes we forget about our smallest veterans that need assistance too. After leaving active service, and those veterans I'm talking about are retired military working dogs. They need people to adopt them when their service is up. The Air Force is asking for people, military members and civilians, who would be willing to adopt some of their retired military working dogs. I mean, it's hard to say uh, not to face with a face like that, right? The dogs are great. Air Force officials at Joint Base San Antonio Lackland have released a new issue last month calling for adoptive parties to take their retired dogs. The Air Force has started that while there it has stated that while there is lots of demand to adopt puppies, they didn't make the cut for active duty. There is significantly less interest in adopting adult dogs, which are exceptionally trained by the way and could easily rescue you from various dangerous situations especially if there's a bomb around right all right if you are interested the air force has warned that the process for adopting a retired military dog can take up to two years it's very rigorous yeah you know if, it, if you don't meet the qualifications you're not going to get a dog and you're also going to have to i would say take take some courses in how to handle these dogs because they're not your average dog. Um, interested potential dog owners are required to fill out paperwork and answer questions as to where the dog will live and how it will be cared for and not anyone would be eligible to adopt the canines. Uh, in order to be deemed a good fit applicants need to have a six foot fence, no kids under the age of five and no more than three dogs already in the home. They also need to list their veterinarian on the application provide, to provide a reference as well as be able to produce a transport case. Still interested in adopting a retired military working dog? You can get in contact with officials at 210-671-6766. I will put this in the link. It was sent to me by Sergeant Ringo, I believe. And uh, so thanks, Sergeant Ringo. I've always worried overly much about military dogs they don't get taken care of and that they have been euthanized for forever has just broken my heart so let's get this fixed guys if you're capable fill this puppy out if my babies wasn't available I would fill one out but you know I've got my bomb sniffing dog here you need one too all right talk to y'all later Share this around. Share it with everybody. Do a video on this subject. Put it out there. Let's make it go out there and help the babies that have helped us. No soldier left behind.